So uh, I'm here to talk about Appium. Um, this is a lightning demo, so it's like seven minutes to tell you all about Appium, which is an open source project. It's just like Selenium, but it's used for controlling mobile devices like Android and iOS. So uh, just a couple like, quick sort of demos. It's getting pretty fun. We just had like our 1.0 release uh, not too long ago, but it's been in progress for like two years. And um, it's getting pretty fun and cool. So the whole thing's written in Node.js. I don't know if there are any Node fans out there. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, <laughs> so we can uh, automate like iOS and Android browsers for testing, right? So that you can do everything you want to do in order to test your apps, so that you can have continuous deployment, continuous integration, <clears throat> all that good stuff. But there's a couple problems that existed with testing mobile apps and also hybrid and web apps and whatever else you have. Uh, before Appium really came along. And so one of the problems is, A, uh, these mobile phones support a lot more stuff than a normal browser does. And also, it's sort of hard to deal with the native uh, automation uh, libraries that Google and Apple provide for their mobile devices. But Appium takes pains to use the exact native automation libraries that they do provide, but provide you one way of dealing with it all. So the important thing is that with Appium, when you're testing your app with Appium, you're testing literally the same exact code that will go straight to the App Store or to Google Play Store or to your computer or anything else. So as an example of what we can do with that, right here I just have, uh, this is a website somebody made. It's a nice little like, drawing thing. I can like, keep coloring in here and draw like, smiley faces. But it also supports multi-touch. So let's start an Appium server here locally. And let's run a little program I wrote, which, blue, 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 we're going to, so Appium down here is like, oh, I'm doing stuff. And then here we have an iPad simulator, comes right up. Uh, I'm not doing this on Android because that doesn't come right up. So here it's typing in some stuff, we're visiting that website, blue, 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 and we're going to draw something on here. Oh, there it is. Imagine like three fingers touching your screen, twisting. And then <laughs> three fingers touching again. And uh, boom, it's uh, Appium's logo. Sweet. So the cool thing there is that it's actually, that's actual multi-touch gesture happening on the device. So literally, it's like you take your three fingers and just twist them on there, twist them again, and Appian just plugs right into the native iOS automation libraries, and it's like, yeah, you know, you send me these events, you tell me where you're putting down your fingers, you tell me where you're moving them, execute them as a single multi-touch gesture, and boom. So there's just a way that you can use uh, Appium to automate your mobile devices. We gotta kill all this junk. So, how... Does that quite work without Appium? So here we go. We have like Xcode running here. It's fun stuff. I've got like my whole app inside this IDE. Now I can click this little thing to analyze it. And I want to go to automation. Now I'm going to like profile my app. So whoosh, we have like another IDE inside my IDE. And then like, oh, here's a little simulator. This is like a really dumb app that lets you like add numbers together. So we also have hiding back here. Oh, look, it's like a pile of code. And what this code is telling it to do is to type one number into this top little field here, and another into the field below that, and then add them up. But it's all this code, which you have to know, like, you have to literally spend a lot of time with instruments in order to be able to do it this way in order to test my app. So let's pile it in there. We can, like, paste this here, and then we can tell it to run. And we're here. Oh, it adds the numbers, and then it's like, oh, yeah, we passed. It's like, all right, cool, well, that lets me test my apps, but, like, can, you know, can I tell Jenkins to bring up, like, Xcode and put all that in there? Can I tell it to run that test again? And then again, it took all this code. If I want to do the same thing in Android, oh, okay, UI Automator, all right, this is the same exact code. It does the same exact thing. It looks way more Java-y. And again, you have to, like, pull this up in my idea. You have to run all this stuff. At least it's sort of like JUnit, so it's not quite as a pain to use because it has, like, some sort of framework to it. But how about instead we just use Appium? So 
Appium runs literally uh, just like a Selenium server. It's looking for HTTP requests uh, of all these commands. And since it only has an HTTP request, all based on the JSON wire protocol, in addition to the mobile JSON wire protocol, which is a superset of those features, we can do the same exact thing with any programming language. Appium already has like mobile li uh, client libraries built into it for basically any major language you can think of. And if you want to do a minor one, you're free to write your own because it's just writing you know, another API wrapper. So here we have a bunch of Ruby code which is going to do the same exact thing. But notice, like, ooh, it's all Ruby. It's all cleaner. This is built like, um, straight into like, how we can do something. So we just like, pull up our Appium there. And now I'm going to run the, uh, the Ruby one. So it's like zoom, zoom, zoom. And this should do the same exact thing. So we're going to pull up an iPhone simulator. There it goes. And we're going to enter in two random numbers, and we're going to add them together, click on the button, and boom, there you go. Test run, boom, we passed, yay, everyone's happy. Test succeeded. So, but let's say you don't have a Ruby shop, you know, but I said you could use any language. So here's the same exact thing written in, uh, in wd.js, so this is JavaScript now, doing the same exact thing, except it can be applied literally to the same exact thing. So I'm just going to now run that with Node. So that's JS one, and there we go. Oh, oh, no, we don't. Well, anyways, I seem to have messed that up somewhere. But anyways, it would be the same exact thing. <laughs> Live demos. Hey, the multi-touch thing worked. I'm happy. So the points of Appium are literally that you can have this server running. It takes HTTP commands. And you can basically test any iOS and any Android device, uh, also Firefox OS. Um, and we're looking at Windows Phone support, too, as well. But that's going to take a lot more work to get that built into it. But it's fun because it uses, it uses the native automation libraries. So there's no like, new paradigm going on here. And you're never going to come out with something where as long as Apple and Google have like, you know, built-in testing for this thing, and sometimes we even hack away to do it without their help, then you can test it. So you're never going to have to wait for someone else to update something onto that. It's completely open source. And your pull requests are welcome on GitHub. Um, there's a bunch of forums for that as well. Uh, it can run on any language, so you're not forced into any framework. You can use JUnit with Java. You can use Cucumber with Ruby. You can use Mocha with JavaScript. Anything you want there. And um, that's about it for me. So thank you very much.